Hello, gamer. Welcome to ZGC. My name is Aurelius, and today we are playing Evolution 2 Battle for Utopia. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit more about chips, uh, what to do, how to get them, all that uh, sort of stuff. So, uh, unfortunately, out here, I don't have any way to get a sabotage you know um if you want to see how a sabotage mission works uh check out the last video you know the uh, chips update video for that uh, but that is one of the main ways to earn chips um as a other way is over here in the workshop you can craft them for silicone which you can make on your own um, to actually make the silicone and and the chips. I'm an idiot. Those are over here in the lab is where they are. So chips production. Uh, once you get this research, you will be able to make your chips, make your own chips. And for silicone production, um, you'll be able to make your own silicon. So as you see here, we do got a couple of chips here. Um, it's 150 uh, silicone to make one chip and 135 magnetite to to make a um, hundred silicone. I believe is the unit. Yes, contains a hundred. So uh, remember, I do have the uh, cost reduction applied to this by 10%. So this, the silicone, if you don't have that uh, uh, meta project done yet, will actually cost you 150 magnetite and I'll figure it out and put it up in an infographic later for the chip. Uh, I'm probably going to cut the little silence out. <laughs> it's just sitting there thinking for this few seconds my brain is just not working when it comes to math right now but i'm um, gonna go ahead i'll craft up some few chips and you see that gem count up there uh went ahead and got some gems just so i could shoot this video and speed all these up now these chips will be random d chips um there's just no way to tell what you're gonna get until it is actually completed and i'm surprised it's not popping up and letting us know what they are but that's all right when we go over to the actual chips inventory where they are uh it should say uh new on all these chips that we just got now the white ones they're just d-ranked chips which is the lowest ranked chips they're going to have the worst stats of all <laughs> all of the chips but the beautiful thing about these chips is they can be upgraded. So let's see if we got any rifle ones. Yeah, so here is one of the ones we just made. Um, Tough Nut, once uh, Blake loses a certain amount of health, uh, you do more damage. Which is interesting, especially, you know, those situations where you're waiting for your med kit to be on cooldown. You know, um, and you're trying to, to, uh, survive and <laughs> kill stuff on the screen so you don't have to, or so you can try to save yourself. Yeah, that's very interesting, but I wouldn't recommend it, especially that way, maybe at a higher rank. Um, let's see, we got a couple of, or just one new one here. These are probably from the sabotages I did earlier. And oh, mama, look at all these new ones. I'm getting a lot of machine gun chips. <laughs> but as you see, as we're cycling through this, uh, they're very neatly categorized assault rifle, sniper, machine gun, shotgun, armor, and partners. And they're also color coded. So as I was saying, the little gray, white, whatever you want to call this color, um, it's the lowest rank at D. No, ooh, reactor overload. Oh, that's that's kind of like the <laughs> chosen one armor when you die, unleash a blast of enemies. I've not seen that in actions because I don't have a very powerful one of those, but be very interesting. But the next rank, which you see, will be green, and then the blues will be B, 
and purples is A, and I don't know if they go up to S because I do not have any purple chips at the moment. If you do know, feel free to let us know down there in that comment section. But what you can do with these chips is you can see, let's go over to our machine gun. So this gray chip here, we got some green ones that aren't being used. You, let's just go ahead and slap that on. I can't because I already have an identical chip there, which I believe is this blue one right here. So you can only have one type of chip per weapon. Um, per, <laughs> yeah, one chip per weapon. Um, or one chip type, I should say, per weapon. You know, so while I can't put that machine gun on or that uh, mag extension on the machine gun, if I don't have it over here on my sniper rifle, I could put it on there. Not that the sniper rifle would have a mag extension. You know, I think sniper rifle and machine guns got some interesting ones where you get a chance to fire twice. But uh, what I was trying to show is these are completely interchangeable. Like, I go ahead and... Oh. Oh, lady. Why can't that be used in that slot? I don't get it. What's going on here? All right, so let's do that. Can we let's go ahead and use um, identical? I know you can swap chips at, in and out, interchange them. There we go. It might have been just another. I had the same type on there uh, with that other chip. But you can just swap these chips out um, as you see fit. You know, so whatever your needs are, like you get a brand new green chip that you really want to use or or you just upgraded um, a chip from green to blue. You know, you can just come in on your weapon, select the chip that you want to replace and and um, go ahead and put it on. Now, what did we put on this machine gun? Because this is something that I haven't done yet is to see if you upgrade the chip, if it will change colors on the weapon, which would be interesting. No, it looks like it removed it. No, it's still there. Huh, interesting. Oh, well, then can we just replace that green version of that on their <laughs> use? All right, boom. <laughs> All right, maybe it's because we had had uh, four of them. Uh, let's try this one. Can we can we put that on there? All right. All right. Let's go remove the other one then. So yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. You just and there's no way that um, you can remove a chip once you put it into the weapon. It's kind of locked in. The only way you're going to get that chip off is to replace it with another chip. You know, unfortunately, there is no option just to remove a chip. All right, that's the one we selected. This is the same thing. But what I want to see, ah, did I not select this one? Come on, yes, that's the one I want, and let's swap it out. Oh, whoops. All right, swap it out. All right, so apparently you cannot swap a lower grade for a higher grade chip. Um, dang it, that one's identical too, and that one's going to be identical. Urgh. Can we swap it out for that one? All right, beautiful. So now that we got that out, I know <laughs> there's definitely some quality of life improvements that could be used here, you know, um, and just the fact that that screen comes up every single time drives me nuts too. All right, but we only got three of these chips. I just want to see if we upgrade it, if it stays equipped to the weapon. No, it doesn't. So what happens to that chip? That's the way you empty the slot. So if you really want to empty the slot, upgrade the current chip. And you're free to put in whatever you want into that slot, which doesn't really matter since you can just place whatever chip is there. But if you don't want that chip on that weapon, let's say you put a chip on a weekly task weapon that is fairly weak and you don't plan on using on a regular basis, you know, and you want to put it on your new weekly weapon because, you know, the tasks are refreshing. You know, that's one way to do it. And that's kind of what I wanted to get on video is 
that kind of documentation. Now, over on the Discord, you know, I have made a separate channel to uh, document all these chips that we've come across. Like, like I said, with the the shotgun down here, like, oh my goodness, this double shot is like ridiculous. And once we get up to blue, it'll become a nine percent chance to instantly fire a second shot then you can combine it this one with an instant reload a nine percent chance of an instant reload i mean this can you imagine actually having both of those proc at the same time like you fire your shotgun and two shots go out then it instantly reloads itself and you fire again and then another two shots come out <laughs> i mean the odds of that realistically happening are very very low but it's possible you know, with these chips, and this is just the kind of craziness that these chips can bring to the way you go about clearing out the terrors and enemy bases and everything. Like, if you want to be super nitpicky, you can come in here and, like, you know you're fighting um, the Red Faces. What a stage that has a whole bunch of Harlequins, you come in and put a chip like this out onto your armor now you're not going to go use it when you go fight a, a base you know that doesn't have a lot of assassins on it but it'll be great for that harlequin fight because you'll be taking a lot less damage than from from the harlequins and beating up on you and then you like you combine it with something like this when health drops below 20 percent 12 percent less damage so when you get really low again waiting for for that um med kit to refresh you're taking 12 percent less damage on top of the ah what percentage up here was this uh on top of the 11 percent damage from melee attacks so that was a total of what 30 percent less damage from harlequins who can hit pretty hard you know a harlequin can ruin your day if you're not careful with them i mean any melee unit can but can you imagine taking 30 percent less damage from them and then as we saw with the ar over here that uh the tough nut chip which increases your damage so not only are you taking less damage you're increasing your damage output so i mean it's just a matter of experimentation and and uh doing or in finding combinations of chips that work that fit to how you want to play that station. Like I said, if you're really nitpicky about how you want to go about things, you can just come in here and swap your chip load out for the weapons and armor you're going to bring to to that stage um, for every single battle. That way you're just always in the perfect in situation you know and maybe cover up some of the weak spots in your game or even strengthen you know the sh the good parts of your game like if you're a really good sniper like this one right here um reduces load time by 11 percent then you combine it with rifle kills from hitting a critical zone reduce reload time by 22 percent that's like almost a 40 percent cooldown um uh, reload speed so your sniper shots is, is gone from recharging every five seconds to almost every two and a half seconds you know with these two chips and their blue versions combined which you know max rank right now is s i'm assuming the chips will go up to s rank like right here the purple we know purple is a rank i just don't have any purple uh chips yet to see if there's an s rank of chips but i mean you see how crazy it gets and like uh we do have the critical hit 30 percent so i mean you can be firing that sniper bam and i think shotguns have a similar one and everything so i mean as you collect on these chips like really go through and see what you got and see what they do like i'm loving these ones damage dealt when uh firing from behind cover uh damage increase it's amazing, and I know somebody over on the Discord was complaining about a uh, machine gun has one where if you're standing still, it increases damage, which is right here, like uh, for 15 seconds. Look, all you gotta do is stand there for one second. You can take some Z spider spit 
you, you know, stand in the acid a little bit to build up that bonus, and then you'll just clear those Z spiders. Then you combine that with the fact that you got those two shotgun chips we went over earlier, and you're double shotting, instant reloading, and double shotting everything again. Like, the, <laughs> the crazy amount of possibilities is crazy, and you, you're doing 15% extra damage with your machine gun the entire time while you're just standing there for, you know, a trade off of like 2% of of Blake's health you know what I'm saying I I think that is definitely worth it now I'm not saying sit there and stand there and take side blast from cultists or a, or a, you know a berserker spider melee hit no don't do that but <laughs> but yeah if it's just g-side spider spit you know nothing that's going to interrupt you is not major coming your way yeah just stand there and i mean that's what i find myself doing and you know yeah i'm taking a lot more damage than i normally am but i'm still not using a med kit you know and i'm dominating the co-ops because i'm just sitting there standing in one spot with all that extra damage so <laughs> it's just something to think about like you can come up with crazy chip combinations like i said over there on the discord we have a dedicated space for their chips and all they do and uh, I guess I could add to the description like chip combinations you know for whatever situations like how to get the most attack out of your weapons the most defense out of your armor you know uh, the fastest cooldowns for stuff you know little things like that like we've already discovered it with the Charon armor um, there's some chips that will nerf its ability like it's a, like a damage reduction while rolling um but with the Charon armor you're not rolling you're teleporting so uh yeah you you kind of screwed in that situation unless it applies i don't know i have to go back in there and ask them um if if uh the teleport counts as a roll like i haven't used the Charon armor i don't even think i have the Charon armor yeah that's just beowulf <laughs> so yeah i <laughs> So I don't know. I haven't used it at all. I'm sticking with this. I'm slowly, slowly working on spec ops. Have been for quite some time. You know, I just haven't been lucky with getting the shots for it. Especially with me focusing on getting blueprints for for the salamander and the machine gun, dragon machine gun, and a couple of other things. But it's good to go ahead. And oh no, one more thing. Uh, it is Friday, base defense, or, yeah, uh, tournament coming out tomorrow, so I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to get the maximum power out of your chopper and your artillery, um, you know, especially if you've been running tournaments every single week, you probably notice that, you know, you'll get some kind of missile or engine or something that, uh, for your choppers and your artillery, and you just come over here, once you get three of them, and up evolve them and once you evolve them as you see here i got the c plus equipped and i've been holding on <laughs> to this forever like it's been a couple of months I've, I've had been able to make this b rank missile but i did want to put this in a video <laughs> that's how long i've been holding these which is crazy let me go ahead and slide it over and now i have a b missile which will just increase my chances of of uh actually landing a successful attack against the artillery you know i uh, think i accidentally did the engines win <laughs> Because I just couldn't wait and I wanted that speed for the tournament. But I mean, the same goes for your artillery, although it only has one slot. You want you want better defense, better defense from airstrikes. I don't have enough to get it B. But you just slide it on over. And yeah, we were at 7K biofuel and now we're at 770 <laughs> so it's not a cheap process by any means but it's definitely well worth it especially if it means it's better for your base being defended against airstrikes you know and you actually being able to to land those airstrikes because that's not that gives you a 10 point advantage over all the rest of your competition because you're taking away five points from them while gaining five points yourself for every successful defense and and um, every successful airstrike. So, 
just a little bit on that uh, I might release like a defensive uh, formations because I've been hardcore base rating and there's just a couple of wave combinations I'm seeing that are giving me so much trouble right now and I might share those with you guys tomorrow but I just wanted this one to to be about the chips and show that off and like I said the chip combinations are absolutely insane and one thing we didn't talk about you can always disassemble uh chips if you have like 15 copies of this and you really need some silicone you can just go ahead and disassemble to destroy this chip for some silicone and start re-roll chips over in your workshop you know what i'm saying because you need silicone to make chips and getting silicone is fairly easy uh they've actually put chips in uh mastery rewards as well as you see my next uh <laughs> uh completion of a weekly task will earn me a blue chip and i think they have them over here as tournament rewards as well oh no i didn't want to do that let's see if this shows us the ranking so as you see with this tournament we will now start getting chips with this so first place we'll get a b rank chip you know the second and third will get uh c rank chips and everybody else will get get a uh, d rank chips so, so uh this will be thrown in i'm guessing with the missiles and the artillery and the engines for the choppers and and your turret for base defense so just expect that change as well when it comes to tournaments and i hope you guys did enjoy this video uh it'll take a lot longer than i thought it would but <laughs> like i said i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was very helpful and i'll see you later gamers